students welcome to next class in this class i am going to discuss one more example on linear congruence equations how to solve given system of linear congruent equations equations are 2x plus 6y congruent to 1 mod 7 and 4x plus 3y congruent to 2 mod 7 as i said in the previous class compare this with the general form then write on a b c d okay solution here call them as equation 1 and 2 here a is 2 b is 6 r is 1 and c is 4 D is 3 and S is 2. What is N? N is 7. Okay. Now, we need to check about GCDs. Oh, whether they have a solution or not. So, GCD of A, B, comma N is what? GCD of what is A, B? 2, 6, 7 is 1. Okay. First equation. GCD of CDN. So, GCD of 4, 3 and 7. It is 1. Means what? The solution exists. So, now we need to check whether the, these system equations have unique solution. For solution to be unique, we need to check GCD of AD minus BC comma N is 1 or so GCD of AD minus BC it is 6 minus 24 comma N is 7 as we need to consider positive values so it is 18 comma 7 it is 1 so what it implies it implies unique solution exist now we need to find what is, what are those unique solutions for that consider the equations we need to find if you want to eliminate first y y eliminate maadbek andre multiply equation 2 with 3 and equation 1 with uh, 1 with 3 and uh, 2 with 6 coefficients of y then subtract okay now we will do so, equation 1 minus equation 2 into 2 that gives you 2x plus 6y congruent to 1 mod 7 and here it is 8x plus 6y congruent to uh, 4 mod 7. So, when you subtract minus 8 minus uh, plus 2 minus 6x congruent to minus 3 mod 7 both side you have divide by minus 3 so you'll get 2x congruent to plus 1 mod 7 so our aim is to find x okay then c divides 2x minus 1 or else what you can say 2x minus 1 equal to 7k. So 2x equal to 7k plus 1. So x equal to 7k plus 1 divided by 2. Now for which value of k we will get a value. When you put a k as 0 it will be 1 by 2. So when you put k as 1 7 plus 1 7 into 1 plus 1 8 by 2 it is divisible. So if k is equal to 1, x is equal to 7 into plus 1 by 2, that is 8 by 2. So, what will be x? x is equal to 4. So, this is one solution. Therefore, x congruent to 4 mod 7 is one solution. Next, I want to eliminate x now. If you want to eliminate x, 
multiply equation 1 with 2 or else you can substitute x value, x you have got, it has 4. Put this value in equation 1. Okay, this is another method. So, here in this equation, put x as 4. Put x equal to 4 in equation 1. So, what you will get? 2 into 4 plus 6 into y congruent to 1 mod 7. So, it is 8 plus 6y congruent to 1 mod 7. So, it will be 6y when you take 8 to RH, LHS, RHS it is minus 7 mod 7 minus 8 plus 1 or else you can write it as 6y minus 7 equal to 7k or 6y equal to when you take this to RHS so it is plus 7. So, 6y equal to 7k minus 7 or y equal to 7k minus 7 divided by 6. So, now go on substituting k values. When you put k as 0, it is minus 7. When you put k as 1, 7 minus 7 will get a 0. 0 is also solution. So, if k is equal to 1, y equal to 0. Therefore, y equal to 0 is one solution, another solution. Or, you can say, y equal to y congruent to 0 mod 7. So, this is, these are the solutions. So, this is how to solve the given congruent equations. This question has been asked in your uh, model question paper. Okay. This is important. It has been asked in model question paper. So, in the next class, I am going to discuss about uh, the next part. The next topic is Wilson theorem. We will discuss it in the next class about Wilson theorem. Till then, keep practicing. If you have any doubts, do comment in the comment box. If you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Yaro na channel subscribe madila subscribe madri. Further videos nimi ge notification barate. Do support my channel. Till then, take care. Thank you.